Hello everyone and welcome back to Antwerp Zoo. My name is Sib. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, in this series, I try to recreate the Antwerp Zoo in Planet Zoo as uh, best as I can. <laughs> I've been working on this project for a while now and we're getting closer and closer to finishing it. In today's episode, I'm working on the Hippo Enclosure or uh, Hippotopia as it is called by the zoo itself. Hippotopia obviously houses hippos. But they also used to house uh, Dalmatian pelicans, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but during my last visit, um, or my two, last two visits, the pelicans weren't there anymore, and I don't know if they'll ever make their uh, return. Today's speed build is a bit longer than usual, so I hope you stick uh, until the end, because I have a, quite a lot to show you, quite a lot of, uh, if I do say so myself, uh, interesting things to show you. Uh, but as always, I start off my commentary with a bit on the history of the buildings and of the animals in Antwerp Zoo. Now, the first uh, two hippos arrived in Antwerp Zoo in 1880. Initially, they were kept in the Egyptian temple. Um, uh, I actually already made that building in a previous ep episode, so if you haven't checked that out yet, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, pause this video go check it out uh, on my channel and you'll see that the building the Egyptian temple isn't really suited for large uh, semi-aquatic animals uh, such as the hippo so in 1886 uh, construction started on a uh, on an actual hippo building that had been planned all the way back in 1876 and designed by Charles Servet who of course uh, designed several other buildings around that same uh, period in time. The building had three pools for the hippos and was built in what is called a Neo-Babylonian style. So that was around the same period of the Egyptian temple and all these other like the Moorish temple and stuff like that. A period uh, in time where building exotic things were uh, really popular in zoos. Uh, if you look at old pictures of the building you can see it looked really nice and it fit in perfectly with the other historical buildings uh, of the zoo precisely because of this like uh, exotic uh, aesthetic it had but unfortunately the building was hit by a German V2 rocket during Hitler's desperate attempt to keep the Allies at bay in the last years of World War II. After the war in 1952, architect René Grossemans took it upon himself to return the hippos to a nice looking building. So uh, he designed a new building and in the zoo's philo uh, philosophy of the time, Grossemans chose not to restore the original building but, insta uh, but instead to design a more rustic building that blended in with the environment. The interior became sober and much more focused on its purpose as an interior holding area for the hippos and the exterior facing the water pool uh, originally was covered in faux rock. But in 2002, so not that long ago, uh, well 20 years almost, but um, <laughs> the building was adjusted and expanded. A large outside area was added to the hippo's enclosure and the faux rock wall was removed in favor of a pink mud wall. Uh, as you can see I'm using the pink wall everywhere here. Uh, the pink wall of course referencing the mud castles of Central Africa. Today Hippotopia is part of a wider swamp biotope which also includes the aviary on its northern side and other surrounding areas. Now while I was talking about the history of the building and of the hippos in Antwerp, <laughs> a lot has happened in the speed build already. Now I apologize if it's going a bit too fast, uh, I had to speed it up quite a bit because otherwise the video would be almost an hour long and I doubt many of you would stay uh, an hour long for this kind of video. So as you can see I am building a... Um, little walking area here uh, on top of the uh, roof actually. I uh, use this drawbridge and the spiral staircase both are from the steam workshop. Uh, you can easily find them by just like uh, searching for spiral stair staircase and a suspended bridge I think it was. Um, 
So yeah, Anthrop Zoo has this really interesting way of uh, going onto the roof of the of Hippotopia, um, and uh, they call it an adventure bridge, I think. Um, if you cross that, you're basically on the roof of the uh, Hippo building, and you can overlook the uh, outside, uh, like their swimming pool, um, from uh, the roof of the building. But you can also have like a little look inside of. Uh, like through the class roof that I still have to put <laughs> put on in a later section of the video here but yeah you can look in both the areas and then if you go further on the roof you can actually enter the aviary which I spoke er uh, about earlier um, and you can go down back down to the path uh, so it's a really interesting way I don't think uh, a lot of zoos do it this way now the unfortunate thing is of course with Planet Zoo uh, and the way the pathing system works um, I'm not able to get uh, actual visitors on top of there um, but if you have Kai's uh, better first person mod installed and I highly recommend you do because it is awesome and um, you'll probably see me in the video like going into first person mode quite a while or quite a lot to check out like how the perspective is how everything looks and stuff like that uh, but you can actually go up there in first person and experience uh, the entire habitat uh, firsthand um, it's really nice uh, I'll show you in the live section of the, uh, of the video later on uh, and um, of course it's not entirely done because um, the aviary of course I didn't do that in this video um, I think yeah the aviary isn't done and part of the roof as a result isn't done so you can't really get back down once you get up there uh, but, but it still looks kind of cool uh, I actually had <laughs> had to watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, of Anthropsu tours uh, to figure out how this part looked because I myself kind of forgot to take pictures here, I guess, when I went the two last times I went to Antwerp Zoo. Uh, partly because I really liked this area and I was just so like taking in the view that I forgot to take pictures and stuff. Uh, but there's a there's a lot of great like tour videos of Antwerp Zoo out there uh, that I was able to use. Now I'm kind of jumping from one thing to another here in the speed build uh, I apologize for that um, adding to uh, the sheer speed of the footage um, I think it's like 16 times or more even sped up uh, which is not what I usually do but yeah this is what uh, this was definitely like one of those builds where I oh where I went like oh I'm going to do the interior now um, I, I'm kind of out of inspiration or I found this really good looking picture for the uh, roof area so let me do that first and then I go back to in to the interior but yeah so I apologize for that um, over here I'm ha I'm doing like these uh, interior like divisions I was kind of worried at first that uh, the hippos wouldn't be able to use much of this area because it's of course also narrow and Planet Zoo really doesn't have uh, good colliders, good like um, traversable area for its animals. So that is why later on in the video you'll probably see me testing uh, like uh, traversable area and stuff like that. I installed Planet Zoo Plus which I hadn't done before. Now I can highly recommend you install that uh, mod. It's a really cool mod, it, it changes a couple of things, um, including the traversable ana uh, area for uh, all the animals in the game, um, increasing like chances for al albinos being born. Now that's a thing I don't really play with, but I can see certain people uh, wanting to use that feature. Um, and of course, for me, it was the traversable area that really made me download uh, the mod. Because uh, you'll see the difference um, like for other animals as well. Uh, I think my giraffes weren't able to enter the um, Egyptian temple. Uh, now they will probably be able to. Hippos can of course uh, use large parts of this uh, interior habitat here. 
Uh, what else is there? The rhinos, I think, can, are a bit more mobile as well. Of course, the elephants. Like, every animal just has more room to walk around and play around in, which is uh, a really good thing, I think. Um, now, I'm doing this, like, <laughs> I, I described it to, uh, I think it was Nick I was talking about, like, I was building this uh, building here, and I was kind of describing as if I was 3D printing it, like, doing... <laughs> Usually, like if you check out other videos, usually I do first the exterior or something, then I go to the interior, then I do all the details and stuff. But here I was like 3D printing, like doing four meters at a time or something, and then moving on to the next four meters. It was a really weird way of building uh, this this uh, Hippotopia building here. Uh, but right now, um, I'm, I'm doing uh, this like view into the aviary now of course the aviary won't be built in this episode yet but um, I already have like <laughs> the viewing area at least uh, so that's from inside the Hippotopia building then you can also like one of the exits well it's actually more of an entrance to the Hippotopia building I'll explain more later in the live section of uh, the video but um, the aviary also has like this walkthrough bit to actually one upstairs one downstairs so yeah it's a really it's gonna be a really interesting uh, episode next time I think I'll do that then um, so now I'm working on this side of the building which is where you actually exit uh, or where you usually exit the building um, it has a really nice mural uh, of like hippos swimming and I think I'll make that or I think I made that a bit later on in the video. I hope I recorded it because it's quite funny how I did it. Uh, but yeah, now I'm doing these, um, the actual entrance to the building here. Now I used the, the long glass pieces to simulate like the long plastic um, sheets or however you would call it. Uh, you know to keep the warmth in uh, to you you see them sometimes in grocery stores as well may have a freezing area at these like plastic uh, lints or however you would call them so yeah then I decided I was not happy with how the scale turned out of this entire building um, noticed I made some mistakes so I moved the entire uh, what is this the eastern wall I think of the building and I moved it over like two meters and that turned out to be the right thing uh, in terms of scale, in terms of uh, how everything lined up and stuff. And then I just made the other uh, the exit on the other side of the uh, habitat here. It's a really nice uh, like area to walk through. Uh, and I'll show that of course in the live section of the video later on. Um, if you're still here, uh, congrats. I know these parts can be really boring sometimes. Um, especially like because everything is going so fast and I really have to scramble my words to describe what's happening but I'm really gra uh, glad that some people stick through to uh, the more boring parts of the video now all this uh, dirt I guess you see on the roof uh, is actually there because they uh, or Antwerp Zoo like put plants on the roof and I really like them for doing it because it really gives the building a, a really nice look if you see it from uh, like viewing from one of the areas uh, <laughs> I'll show it later <laughs> of course um, it's difficult to describe but it's like a, a bit of a lower area where you can view the hippos their outside area and stuff like that but yeah at this point I put in uh, two hippos the two hippos Antwerp Zoo has uh, to experiment with their traversable area now this was before I installed the planet zoo plus mod I think so that's why the, the doors are a bit wide and stuff like that and I actually kept that um, the two hippos at Antwerp Zoo currently are two females uh, Hermine and Imani I think one uh, one of them is the mother the other is the daughter um, I think they are part of a I'm not sure about this but I think they are part of like a breeding program because in the past I think there has been like uh, babies baby hippos born at Antwerp Zoo and stuff like that so I think they are part of the uh, 
of a hippo breeding program they just aren't introducing any males as of now uh, which of course that would be interesting if they uh, started doing that again um, especially the, the youngest of the two the daughter don't know um, if she's ready for uh, being part of a breeding program yet but that would be uh, really interesting now I think the older one of the two is a bit too old now for a breeding program I think she's like in her uh, I don't know in her 40s maybe I don't know how old they get I should check actually I have a I have a, I took a picture of um, their like the sign in the zoo um, where their date of birth is on and everything so if I can find it real quickly uh, I took a lot of pictures uh, <laughs> when I went um, okay let me see find it of course which is not the easiest thing um, 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 excuse me okay found a picture now the okay eight, 1980 so yeah Hermine is the oldest one 1980 so that's really old for a hippo I don't think they uh, can breed at that age anymore uh, Imani was born in 2007 uh, 2007 uh, so she can maybe still uh, be part of a breeding program and stuff like that. Now at this point, uh, I kind of skipped or I uh, kind of didn't describe this because I was looking for the screenshot. But I'm doing the water area, the exterior area, and with the free build mod, uh, you can actually like use barriers to uh, plop down water, I should say. Then just make them no barriers again and without any issues or something um, which is really useful for making these kinds of viewing areas which are kind of lowered into the water if, if that makes sense at all uh, I'm really happy with how the end result turned out now it did made some minor mistakes with the terrain uh, on the right side there but I managed to cover that up like uh, with full rocks and stuff so it's not really that noticeable but it's not really accurate to how it really is in Antwerp Zoo. Now this is a really nice like viewing area. I kind of accidentally skipped it over during my last visit to Antwerp Zoo. Uh, it was a bit too cold for the hippos to be outside so it didn't really have a reason to go through this path so I kind of accidentally skipped the entire swamp biotope for uh, or in Antwerp Zoo. It's kind of sad because it's one of the next things on my agenda here. So I'm completely relying on other people's pictures. Uh, but that's not an issue. They t sometimes, uh, most of the times, their pictures are way better than mine. Because I take them with my shitty phone. Uh, so the quality of my pictures isn't really that great. But yeah. So main thing uh, when doing this area was uh, making sure that the uh, hippos were are able to go into the water, get out of there, uh, be able to swim around and stuff like that. And have at the same time, um, or keep them from escaping of course. Uh, kind of jumped around again, back and forth between the, uh, like this barrier, the water, the foliage around, <laughs> around here and stuff like that. So yeah, I spent a long time on this, uh, but later on uh, you'll see that I that I actually had to remove part of this barrier because I made a mistake there's actually part of this glass viewing gallery I should say uh, that, that is actually like uh, just an area with plants and stuff um, now I first put down these limestone statues of the hippos but I replaced them later on off camera by uh, their bronze variants it's going really quick I'm sorry but uh, this is li like another area where they are able to get on land on the other side. Now I'm not sure if it's intended for the hippos or for the pelicans. Uh, I think I have one picture where they actually, or where there's one laying there, but I'm not too sure. Now this is the little mural I was talking about. Um, these are like hippos, <laughs> or, or supposed to be hippos swimming. So I use these uh, new plaster pieces that we got in the uh, African DLC. <laughs> they kind of look wonky, but at the same time, 
everything in this game sometimes looks wonky so <laughs> I'm really happy with how it eventually turned out uh, I wish we had uh, or the limestone hippo statues were flexi color but of course they aren't so I had to use this as a solution and just adding my fake path here with the plaster pieces I've been doing it all around the zoo now and <laughs> no reason to stop uh, using that technique now now it might give it uh, or it might give my recreation a bit of a cartoony look but because Planet Zoo itself is really cartoony I don't really mind uh, I know other people might really get annoyed by the look uh, the plaster gives my entire zoo but I, I, I'm not too bothered by that. Now we're getting towards the end here of uh, what I did on camera. I think the last things I did was like foliage, uh, these little pieces of dirt where the plants are and stuff like that, path um, into the swimming area. Now I decided I, I really messed around a lot with this uh, path and stuff like that. And I used these Australian fences because they actually looked kind of really accurate to what is actually there in the zoo um, now I wasn't able to use them for the glass gallery there uh, because they were just too big uh, the bases were too big for me but I really like the combination of on one side the Australian fences and on the other side the uh, mud uh, mud walls I guess or the mud pieces I hadn't used them before and I'm really happy I chose them over plaster because they really give a nice uh, look to everything. Now this is also my first time I think using these mesh pieces. I'm really happy with those actually. I might use them for uh, other stuff later on. But yeah, at this point I'm just um, finishing up like all the little corners and all the little nooks and crannies of, of this habitat. Uh, while the hippos of course are, are already swimming and doing everything they like to do in the water now, I think the water has to be like quite warm for them to actually be allowed out outside I think I saw a video of the one of the zookeepers talking about how uh, the water needs to be quite uh, high temperature I'm not sure how warm anymore but it needs to be quite hot outside for them to go uh, to go and s take a swim so yeah it was a um, obvious that they weren't outside when or it was clear that they it was too cold to go it's outside when I last visited them I don't think they were outside the previous time either so yeah they they only spend uh, time outside when I think it's summer yeah because uh, but it's still quite a nice uh, quite a nice outside area nonetheless I'm still using <laughs> these mud wall panels. I, I'm really, really liking them this episode. Uh, it's really fun to use these kinds of pieces that I normally don't use in the zoo. It's it's just one of those things with recreation build. Uh, every time another building, another like building style sometimes, um, and just using new pieces is a great opportunity to learn what the game has to offer and stuff like that. At this point I was just finishing uh, stuff, putting foliage, putting fence, um, also putting down some logs to keep the hippos from escaping because there were some issues with that as you can see here. Now I would have used my hollow logs from the European Midnight Pack but I want to keep this uh, recreation uh, mod free so everyone can enjoy it on the Steam Workshop. But we're getting towards the end of this speed build so Let's just jump right into the live game and have a more detailed look at everything that uh, I built. And we're in the live now. So as you can see the hippos are uh, enjoying the outside area over here. One of them is in the water, the other one is I think just about to go into the water, yes. I really like how this turned out. Um, of course there's still some areas that I didn't completely finish up like over here um, but overall this is a mostly completed uh, habitat over here so let's assume we're going through the zoo here uh, you're walking down this path here uh, of course I'm now using the uh, better first person mod 
Um, now, if you're of the adventurous type, I highly suggest you go up this uh, staircase here. Of course, with the better first person mod, you are able to do so in a uh, easy manner. Now, you have this nice little view over here of the hippos. Where are they? One of them is over there. But they're a bit hard to see. Yeah, that one is probably about to go outside of the water. Uh, don't know where the other one. Oh, the other one is back there. Okay. But yeah, of course, uh, if you want a better view, you can just like go. Oh, I'm sorry. To go from the uh, staircase up there over the bridge, right through here, and then you have this nice little overlook of the entire uh, outside habitat. And you can see him swim or her swimming there. If you look closely, you can even see the rhinos back there, but of course there still needs to be some foliage uh, back there as well. Yeah, really nice that they're swimming. I think the other one went inside, so let's just hurry along this path now. Obviously, this isn't finished yet. That side uh, should be an aviary. Uh, but you can look inside the building uh, from here as well. So let's just take a jump off this here. So this would be the entrance for people who are less uh, adventurous. They come through the aviary, which should be here. And they go inside. Oh, both of them are now inside. Okay. Then you can go through these uh, like plastic things here. And then you are in the interior of the uh, Hippotopia building. Now both of them have chose to go inside right as I'm going to show the interior, which is absolutely great. Now without Planet Zoo Plus they wouldn't be able to actually walk here. Uh, their uh, hitboxes would be too big, so they wouldn't even be able to go through the little like gates I made, which is really awesome that they are able to do that uh, in Planet Zoo Plus. Now I made the sign for them already uh, in the style of course of the Antwerp Zoo uh, signs in Dutch, French, uh, English and German. Um, well Germ German is left out of, out of some bits like the birth data and stuff like that but it's mostly in four languages. Uh, okay one of the hippos decided to go to sleep there but yeah this uh, entire interior building has like a division between a smaller and a larger pool for the hippos. Um, now, between my first and my second visit since, I, uh, since I'm doing this recreation, they temporarily held uh, nutrias or koipu in this little pool here because they had issues with, the, with a wild fox uh, going through the zoo. But uh, during my last visit, they weren't here anymore. So I assume they moved back to their normal enclosure. Now, unfortunately, I accidentally skipped that enclosure. <laughs> so I, I'm not able to confirm this. Uh, yeah, let's go back outside through here. I like made this automated door using, what is this, like, uh, I don't know what the word in English, but, it, but you know the paces, you recognize them. They're uh, used a lot in like detailed stuff like this. Yeah, then we move, of course this isn't finished yet, but then we move through here with the mural. Uh, I still have to put some plants in this area with the hippo mural over here. You cross this bridge and then uh, you arrive in this area. Let me just skip through here, which is a bit lower down uh, with these nice little hippo statues. And then you can look at their outside uh, area. I don't know where the other one has gone. I don't really see it anywhere, uh, so I s assume it's still inside? Question mark. Uh, but yeah, if they're outside, you have a really nice look over here. And then of course, if you go up here, then you have another like water area and stuff like that. But that's for uh, another time. Oh, it's... What the hell is it doing? <laughs> it's... Okay, this animal... It's a weird issue, uh, I've seen some people on the forums report that their uh, climbing animals sometimes get stuck in boxes. But what the hell is this hippo doing? <laughs> is it sleeping underwater now? Let's see if I move it up here. Can I actually... Ah, well that's nice. <laughs> it shouldn't be able to get up there. Oh well, well now I did it. Um, I 
imprisoned him on a little, or her on a little island. But yeah. Now she should be able to go back into the water. Yes. Okay. So as you can see with the Planet Zoo Plus mod, they are able to go in these narrow uh, areas and stuff like that. The other one is still sleeping, I presume. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the food uh, getting bad and stuff like that. But I really like this area, it turned out just as I wanted it to. Um, oh, of course I still haven't shown you the roof over here, I kind of skipped over that. But yeah, that's the plants on the roof that I was talking about in the speed build. I really like this look, really gives it this modern kind of look. Even though the building was like, well 2002 is still re relatively modern, I guess. Um, yeah, that's Hippotopia in a nutshell. Really nice little area. Now I might put in pelicans eventually. I'm not too sure because I'm not sure about the current situation at Antwerp Zoo uh, regarding the pelicans. If they ever will return or if they uh, never will return. It's still like a big mystery to me. Yeah, it looks like... Who's this actually? Imani is going to enjoy the sun a bit. Okay, so that was it for this episode. Next time we will probably work on the aviary over here, the uh, swamp aviary, um, which has like black crowned crane, uh, vulturine guinea fowl, marabou and stuff like that. Now of course not everything will be added because we don't have the animals yet. Um, but there's exciting news from Modding Land, uh, I might talk about it in another video or I might do an, uh, another one of those specials again. Uh, because we have uh, like a North American porcupine on the horizon, African uh, crested porcupine, uh, black crown crane is uh, I think in the mix as well. So a lot of exciting uh, mods probably making their way to Nexus mods in next couple of days weeks I hope not months but yeah a lot of exciting news uh, coming in the future of course we also have the anniversary of Planet Zoo coming up really soon uh, you might get a free uh, DLC or something uh, we're not too sure about that but we'll see I hope you enjoyed this video and as always if you liked it uh, please consider leaving a like and if you're not subscribed uh, to the channel yet uh, please consider subscribing, it's a really good way to tell me uh, that you enjoy this content and that you want me to make more. See you next time! Bye!